In this video, we're going to take a look at a dual probe Internet of Things thermometer and real-time web app that displays the two temperatures and graphs them over time. I built this project on an old Raspberry Pi and it uses two DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensors. Now, I know I just did a video where I used a Pi Zero and the same sensors to send coffee alerts. So, why am I building this? Well, a friend saw the other project and said, I'll give you two Raspberry Pis if you build this for me. So, naturally, here we are. But this will still be a lot of fun and quite a bit different from the last project. Let's get started. These sensors use the one wire interface, which means we can hook up multiple sensors to a single pin. So all I had to do to wire this up was solder the respective data, power, and ground wires to some jumper wires and put a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor between the power and signal wires. I was then able to plug the two sensors right into the Pi with the jumper wires. This Pi came with a case, so I made use of it by drilling holes in it and adding some rubber grommets for the sensor wires to run nicely through. I also used this liquid electrical tape to cover the places I couldn't cover with the heat shrink. There are two parts to this code, the part that lives on the device and the web app. I'm also using the Firebase real-time database for logs. The code on the Pi is written in Node and has a simple job. Get the temperatures from the probes, convert the temperatures to Fahrenheit, round the temperatures, check if the temperatures are different from the last temperatures logged, and if they are, log the new temperatures with a timestamp to the database. This whole process happens every five seconds. The front end app is written in plain JavaScript. It listens to the database in real time and displays the two temperatures as they change. It also uses Google Charts to graph the temperatures over time. If you need to do more analysis on the data, there's a button that converts the database to a spreadsheet and downloads it. If you want to look at the code that runs this project, the link is in the description. And if you want me to do another video where I go through this code in detail, please let me know in the comments. If you like this content, please share, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I have more projects coming. Thanks.